Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos sometimes. Sorry it's been like almost two weeks since my last video. I'll be honest with you, I have been really really tired the past couple of weeks. On top of that there was one week where I got a sty in my eye and that was horrible and I just didn't want to wear makeup at all. Plus it's not recommended that you wear makeup so I took a week off and then the week after that was just extremely tiring. I have two kids if you don't know me or my channel. I have two daughters. I have an eight-year-old and a four-year-old and the eight-year-old is really, really focused on her like distant learning right now. So I'm a stay-at-home parent and I have been like on top of that from like 8.30 in the morning to like three o'clock in the afternoon, just making sure she's doing all of her things. And then my four-year-old was supposed to start preschool, but unfortunately due to COVID, obviously there isn't really much you can do for preschoolers as far as like distant learning or online learning so i am dedicating my entire morning to teaching her we're doing lots of homeschool activities if you're a homeschooling parent please 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 guide me send me links into anything and everything that you know about teaching your little ones from home because i have never done it before and some days you know are better than others but if you have any resources I'm opened to them. Any hoot, this video is going to be a little sort of first impression and demo on the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I haven't heard too many people talking about this product and I'm a little bit like, like, confused not that i've used it and i can't tell you it's amazing or anything like that because obviously this is a first impression but um cream bronzing is like super popular like especially this past summer i feel like a lot of people have been dabbing into like cream products and um i was just really excited about this i picked this up during that uh promotion where everything shipped out for free regardless of um pricing like there was no minimum purchase that's what I meant to say. There's no minimum purchase and I only wanted one product and so I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and buy it. So this, like I said, is the, oh God, I'm so bad at reviewing, I'm so sorry. This is the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. It is a cream balm bronzer that enhances your natural skin tone with a radiant touch of color. Effortlessly blends to a velvety smooth, soft focus finish and leaves skin instantly sun-kissed. How to use it. Apply on clean, moisturized skin. Swirl the rounded kabuki brush directly into the pot to pick up desired amount. Gently buff onto skin to blur and build to desired coverage. And be applied to arms and legs. Décolletage, right? Yeah. yeah. Décolletage and legs or over a fresh face or makeup. It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, all the good frees, but except for the free where you didn't pay for it. <laughs> okay, this is what the product looks like. It's a pretty decent size. Obviously, it's meant for the body. It is a Soul Body product, and it is a, if you're unfamiliar with Soul, which I'm sure you're not, it is a sister company to ColourPop, and they specialize more in body shimmering products so obviously it's going to be a ginormous uh product my current favorite um cream bronzer is this one by elf it's that like aqua beauty one i've already made a dent into it and so when i saw the dent in it i thought well you know what let's just go ahead and try this um so packaging is nice it's like a really pretty like light pink color it's almost like a frosted plastic packaging which i like i like it when things are in a plastic container because if uh my four-year-old decides that she wants to play with my makeup it drops it it won't break so it does come with a lid i would think that you need to keep the lid to prevent the product from drying up so i suggest you do the same it does have a scent it almost smells like two things it smells like a day at the beach like after you've you know sunbathed all day and you're wearing like a certain like sun tanning oil or whatever 
and it smells like a tanning bed. Like if you ever did that where you tanned in one of those tanning beds back in the day, I am guilty. I used to do that in high school and that is the worst thing that you could possibly do for your skin, just saying. But this smells like a particular product that I used to douse my entire body in just so that I could tan faster and I like it. It's nostalgic. It smells nice. I can't stop smelling it. I think it smells amazing. So I really, really like it. I do have a couple of ways that I like to apply my bronzer or cream bronzer. I like this really fluffy stippling brush. This is an AOA Studio, which is the Shop Miss A brand uh, stippling brush. Ooh, it's, it's dusty. I really like this style of brush to apply. I also have, where is it? I also have this a smaller stippling brush. I like this one more for like contouring or really carving out my cheeks. This one is for Makeup Geek. I don't know if they make brushes anymore. I'm so sorry. But I will link this one down below because I really, really like this one. It does come in a duo, just so you know. But I mean, you're paying $2 for two brushes. So well, this is actually my second one i have another one that i use for like blush as well and as you could see after washing it and using it it does get a little bit fluffier but we're not here to talk about those brushes i'm just gonna go ahead and take this clean stippling brush and i'm gonna go ahead and go into this product i'm just gonna pick up my desired amount did i mention what shade this is in oh it's in the shade medium. I got the shade medium. I've got some of the product right here. I am debating, should I? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just go ahead and stipple a little bit on the back of my hand. I do that with just about every cream product. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this. Ooh, that's a nice color. I thought this was gonna be a little too dark or even maybe too light, I don't know. I was very skeptical on the colors, I'm not gonna lie, because the swatches like were not as helpful as I thought they were gonna be, and I haven't really heard too many people talk about this product, so I struggled, and I just kind of purchased medium because I was like, well, <laughs> it's gonna be winter soon, and maybe medium will work when I'm the fairest of the fairest, even though this is the fairest that I think I ever get. And it blends out like a dream. Like, that's really, really good. Very much the same shade as the color of the e.l.f. one that I just showed you. So I'm loving that even more. It is not too warm and not too cool. I prefer something in the middle because I sometimes like a warm bronzer or warm contour because it just looks a little more like sun-kissed or whatever for my particular skin tone so i'm really liking the shade of that and it builds up really really nicely too so you can like either like go light-handed or really really go in with the product i should probably zoomed you in let me do that now so there it is it even did a really nice job at contouring like right in this part of my cheek I'm really, really liking the way that this is looking and I keep building it up. Like I'm just barely tapping the brush into the product so that I can slowly but surely build this up. Let's go ahead and take care of this double chin now. So there it is, just freshly applied. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I just have highlighter and uh, blush to do, and then I will come back and, you know, sort of give my final thoughts on this product, okay? Okay, so here is a close-up of my face. I am absolutely so happy with this bronzer. I have been, like, like I mentioned, I've been loving, loving, loving cream bronzers, and I technically only have one in my collection. I do have a concealer that I use as a bronzer every now and then, or like something to contour with, but it's way too pigmented for my liking, and sometimes I can overdo it with that product. But this just looks so natural, natural, smooth and pretty sorry i'm sweating it's really really hot in this room but i love the way that this looks it's definitely something i'm going to be using 
on an everyday basis. I did want to compare the two. Um, if you have this, this one right here is the e.l.f. and then this one is the one from ColourPop. The ColourPop one has like a touch more warmth, which I don't mind in my bronzers. With my particular skin tone, since I'm more of like a yellow neutral like skin tone, I do like warmer bronzers to be honest. So I'm not mad about that. Um, this is this feels weird <laughs> just watch these side by side because it definitely feels very bomb like um which i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for me honestly i don't mind it it almost feels moisturizing compared to the elf one the elf one is definitely one of those like cream to powder like finishes this one definitely doesn't have that it has more of a very emollient um balmy like feeling but it is drying down i am feeling this on the back of my hand and it's dried down so that's I don't want to say slimy, but that balmy feeling does go away. So I probably should have said that before. I Like I said, I'm really, really bad with reviews. I'm always all over the place. And uh, now you know. If you're curious for the rest of my face, I did go in with more cream products. Like I said, I've been digging on the cream products. I use my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Drop of a Hat. Absolutely stunning. And then for highlighter, I went with an oldie but a goodie Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. But I love these. These are definitely two of my favorite products. In conjunction with this bronzer, everything just looks absolutely stunning like i really really love the way that my face makeup looks right now I did use all of my other color pop products i'll have everything else that i used on my face today linked down below for you guys if you're curious or interested in any of them at all just so you know they are commission-based links i've never made a dime off of this little youtube hobby but i feel like i should definitely disclose that regardless of whether i've make money on this or not so uh yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me put this down subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and i will see you guys in my next video okay okay bye bye, -bye.